so welcome to the next session of theory of computation today's topic is design of dfa so objectives for today after going through this topic you should be able to understand the concept of designing a deterministic finite automata and learn the various examples of it so first of all how to construct a dfa procedure for designing a dfa so step number 1 says that decide what a dfa need to memorize right second step says that how many states do we need third step says that you have to construct the language before designing a dfa language construction is very very important next we have step number 4 construct transition diagram using minimum states right so these are the four steps which will be used for the construction of dfa so let's proceed towards the first example so first example says that construct a dfa which accepts a set of all strings over sigma is equals to a comma b of length 2 right so now you have to construct a dfa whose input is a comma b having length is equals to 2 so this is your input a comma b so your input alphabets are 2 that is a comma b and the length is equals to 2 right so first of all we have to check for the possible combinations for it right so you have the length 2 and two inputs are there therefore 2 raised to power 2 is equals to 4 right so four combinations will be used for the processing of this these two inputs right so first of all we'll have to construct a language language will be written it will be denoted with the help of capital l right so first of all two inputs are there so first combination will be first string in the language will be a a right the second language the second string in the language will be a b then we have b a and last but not the least we have b b so these are the four combinations which will be taken from a comma b right so first of all you will have to remember that how many states will be used after that you will have to construct a language l with the help of this sigma is equals to a comma b of length is equals to 2 right so after that let's proceed with the construction of dfa so for l is equals to a a that is your first string so first of all you have a state that is q not which will be acting as your initial state so here q not will be acting as your initial state so after the processing of first a after the processing of first a it will be moved to next intermediate state which will be written with q1 next again we have a again we have a right which will be processed after the processing of a q1 will be raised to q2 
so this is your first string and you have to accept it you have to accept double a it means this q2 will be your final state because according to the definition of acceptability of a string by finite automata which says that when you start from the initial state after the processing of entire string you will be reaching at final state then we can say that the string is accepted so it means this double a will be accepted right so next a b next string a b if you have a is already written over here the second string is b so here you need to write a comma b right so for a comma b for a comma b again after the processing of first a you will be reaching at q1 and after the processing of b you will be reaching at final state it means that the string ab will be accepted again the next string will be ba so 